Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite mini spreads. Um, somebody actually left me a comment in my previous video where I was sharing my top 10 favorite classic spreads to share my mini. So that's why I'm doing this video because I thought it was a great idea to share those because I do love how these spreads have been turning out. Um, and I love using the dashboard layout. I know some people kind of struggle with it a little, so I'm hoping that my spreads are helping to like, you know, helping everybody get a hang of like how to decorate them because it's a really fun layout to do. It's very different from the classic one and I just love decorating in this planner. So I'm actually using or was using this planner right here for my dashboard. Um, previously I was using an extension pack and it was an undated extension pack and I don't think I kept any of those spreads. I think I tossed them for whatever reason. I do plan on keeping like all of these spreads like I keep my classic because I just love how they've been turning out and I want to keep them because they're also good to like go back and look at and get like re-inspired and get ideas so that's why I'm keeping mine but this is this was the layout that I was using and at the time this was like the most neutral aside from like that box and some of these colors but it didn't have like a little design here which the extension pack did um, so I definitely loved using this one it was a really cute planner all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you my top 10 favorite ones but I'm also gonna share with you my least favorite spread that I've ever done in any of my planners it's in this planner right here so I'll do that one last but I want to first share my first one and I'm just gonna go in order of like the weeks all right, so this is my very first favorite one, and these are the stick figure girls. I love these stickers so much. They're so cute, um, especially that one right there, throwing up the money, which was perfect to put on payday. Um, yeah, it's just too adorable. And I also used my um, or the, the rainbow sticker book, like the OG rainbow sticker book. So I love like being able to use a brand new sticker book and then use it with an old sticker book. It's always like my favorite thing to do if I can remember to grab that old sticker book but yeah I love how this one turned out I don't know if these stickers are still available I found these ones at these ones at Michaels and they were like on a dashboard um, they're not like a value pack sticker book but they're really really cute and I'm kind of like inspired to do one of these spreads in my classic because I only did a spread like this in my mini I never did one in my classic so like I said that's why I like looking back at my spreads because they kind of like inspire me to do a new spread so for sure look out for that one because I definitely want to do that one soon so that's the first one and here's the second one this is the first time I did a lemon spread and I feel like everybody I think that week that I did a lemon spread had the same idea and they all a bunch of people did lemon spreads but I love how this one turned out because of like the colors. I love that teal color with the yellow. It's really, really pretty. And this section right here, I love that I was not, I didn't have to cover it up because I do like using that section for errands, but I would always cover it up because sometimes that color did not go with the spread, but this one just worked perfectly with the spread, even like the other colors on the page. Like it was perfect to do this spread, this yellow and teal spread because all the colors matched which is very very rare when you're when you have your planner already has like colors on it so definitely love how this one turned out all right next one I think this is like empowered woman empowering woman but this one had like really really pretty florals in it um, it's just like a really gorgeous sticker book and here's another one I didn't have to cover up that yellow because I tied it in with all the other stickers and it has a lot of color but I think it all goes it, it's really really cute all right so then the next one this one was a lot of fun to make so these are the journaling stickers and that one they're all paper so you're able to like color them because they're all just black and white stickers and I was able to use some markers and colored all of these plants and I, I know I remember a bunch of people were doing plant spreads too so I've been wanting to do one as well and I just love how this one turned out and it was a lot of fun because I got to color which of course is even more fun to color your stickers um, and then you're I was able to customize this you know the colors of the stickers to match my spread 
which is also another great thing about coloring your stickers. But yeah, I definitely love how this one turned out. It was super cute. Okay, so this one right here, yeah, there was a planner release. So that's why I did a sticker spread. It's all about the stickers that week. And I believe, yeah, it was when the new Planner Girl stickers came out and like the spring, summer, fall, and winter. It took me a while to find that fall one. I was able to find the other ones really quick, but that fall one took me a while to find. But yeah, this one's all about the stickers. And here's another thing I like doing in my dashboard was um, I would take these, these cards right here because sometimes I just wouldn't use them, but I did like putting them in my planner. Like I actually adhered it to the page with some Tombow adhesive and made it a part of um, this side of the page, which I love doing that. And it got me to use these little cards um, because honestly, I probably wouldn't really use them very much and I'm trying to use like all my stuff. So that's another tip to like, you know, use these in your planner because they do fit. Like I, I would just line them up with the holes and then I would just cut it off because it would hang over just a little bit and you just have to cut it off. But other than that, they're perfect to use in your planner. Um, but yeah, I definitely love how this one turned out with all the stickers because um, we all love stickers. I know I for sure love stickers a lot. So it's fun to do a sticker, fun sticker spread for the release of all those new, all those stickers. There was a lot of stickers. Um, so yeah, definitely another one of my favorites. All right, so then this one, this one is out of all the planner girls that were released, this one right here is my favorite, the homebody. I just love the florals. They're really pretty. Um, and I had to have them. And I just love how this one looks, the colors and everything. It's just gorgeous. So that's another one of my favorites. Next, I have another like lemon, but lime, lemon and lime spread. Um, this one's really, really cute too. All the colors, it's just like fun and bright. These were the Happy Hostess stickers. And yeah, it's just too cute. And it, I even had the, the lemon and lime washi which is adorable to put in here as well. Yeah, love how this one turned out. And then here's a like fall spread that I did. And I actually had placed an order with Allie from According to Allie to get this enamel pin of Brewster. And she sent this, this was like a little freebie um, sticker that she sent. So I based, this whole spread is because of this. I wanted to use that sticker in a spread for my mini. Um, and this is what I created because of that sticker. And I think it came out so adorable. It's, it's just too cute. And I love that Brewster. He's adorable. He's all right. So then my, I think this is my last one. Oh no, I have two more. Okay. So then this one right here is wrong, wrong. And honestly, I wasn't, I, I wasn't a fan of wrong, wrong at first. I'm slowly like, I, I like it. I just, it's not my favorite, like the fashion girls. I prefer the squad goals and squad life. But they, these are really, really cute. And it was a perfect week to use these um, wrong, wrong stickers because I was going to a Christmas, a planner Christmas party. Um, so yeah, it, it fits with what I was doing that weekend. And I love how it turned out. It's very Christmassy. So that's always good. And I like like, you know, the pink and the blue with the, the green, like the traditional colors. It's really cute. It's a cute combo. So definitely love that one as well. And then the last one is this Dream Seekers. Oh my gosh, this spread is just so pretty. I mean, I'm not into feathers or anything like that, but I think this is like really gorgeous with the with the purple and the maroon and then all that foil. It's really, really pretty. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna like this sticker as much as I did once I saw it. But I know a lot of people have told me the same thing that like once they saw it in person and flipped through it, then um, you kind of like fall in love with it. It's a really pretty sticker book. So yeah, that is my last of my top 10. And now I'm going to share my least favorite spread of all time. And it's this one right here. Oh gosh. So these came from uh, the Encourager, which was the one of the planner girls that was released um, this year, which that one was not my favorite sticker book either. And I love how my classic spread turned out because I, I use stickers 
that I really liked from that sticker book. Um, but in my mini, I kind of challenged myself to use stickers that I did not like, which I kind of set myself up to not like this spread very much. Um, but like these, I don't care for like the lips and the peace signs and all that kind of stuff. It's not like my vibe. So yeah, this is like my least favorite spread that I've ever made in any of my planners, honestly. Um, and I remember I got sick this week, so that's why I didn't have to use the rest of it. Um, but yeah, my least favorite spread, that is, that's it. Um, so those were my 10 favorite and my least favorite. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one.